Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Frank Bassa from Granada Gold. How are you today, Frank? Wonderful, Tracy. Thanks for, for taking the time to talk to me again. Are you kidding? With all the news that's coming out of Granada Gold, and I mean, the headline yesterday, um, I'm reading it out for our audience, is Granada Gold's Frank Bassa reveals the more we drill, the more gold we find. Well, that sounds quite pleasant. I'm assuming he's talking about your most recent news release. So what we're doing right now, uh, Tracy, is we've changed our, our drill pattern and we're trying to take a low grade deposit, which is at one gram, about 1.2 million ounces open pitable, to our higher grade deposit, which we moved it to two grams right now, at about 350,000 ounces, and underground, which we've never had, to a four gram deposits, about 250 ounces right now. 250,000 ounces, I should say, right now. So hopefully, within a 24-month time frame, like I said, uh, we're going to try to do about 120,000 meters of drilling. We've already done 18,000. And our intent is to take this to about 2.5 million, 3 million ounces. Majority of that will be underground at 4 grams per ton. So instead of having a low-grade deposit, we'll have a high-grade open pit and a high-grade underground, which is probably more economical in the event we decide to become a shipper or right now we're looking at becoming an operator on site because of the high grade deposit that we discovered with this drilling. So I think probably what you know our investors would enjoy um, is just you know I was reading in Matt's column he was writing you know he loves to hear your phrases that you're using the high grade gold near surface continuity uh, high very high grade bulk zone and he says, you know, again, that you're looking at a significant resource upgrade um, and that we're just basically looking at the next level of development, which is either the PEA or the pre-feasibility stage. Can you talk to us about your timeline on that? I think what we'll do is we already had a PEA done on the project when we did the open pit. We also did a PFS and, you know, open pitable in the PFS was four grams. So uh, what we're looking at, we might just go right to an FS. And uh, uh, right now we're very encouraged with the drill results we're getting. Uh, we're very happy that we still haven't hit depth. So we think uh, the ideal thing for us right now, build a mill on site. Uh, you know, the economics are there now. You know, preliminary economics are there. So I think we'll go to the uh, feasibility study, uh, treat this as a higher grade uh, open pit and underground. So further to that, we're discussing your next steps. So let me just confirm. We're looking at a 300,000 ounce gold open pit. Is that correct? Well, the open pit, I think we'll leave it right now. We might expand on that. Originally, we only looked for 300,000. Now we have 350,000. We still haven't integrated all the drill data. We're getting some pretty crazy high numbers. Uh, but I think the realistic number, probably not what we're looking because of the price of gold at two grams as open pit. Uh, so, we, you know, we hit our target of 300,000. We've exceeded it. Uh, so what we're looking at, maybe we'll increase that. But the reality is it'll be a smaller open pit than the 1.2 million ounces at one gram. Uh, the economics are better for us to go from a small open pit than go underground. And you notice right now, four grams underground on the Cadillac break. Very few people have that. We have it, and hopefully we can expand on that. We've, uh, at Investor Intel, opened our own Reddit account as we attempt to tap into the Reddit investors. So say they're looking, and we're giving them an update on Granada Gold. Would you mind giving them an explanation on the competitive reasons why they should select Granada Gold over another gold company? Well, you have to look at it this way. What's happening... Uh, on the Cadillac break, especially in Quebec, real estate is rare, really, really rare. Two companies are really taken out. And, you know, one of them had a resource about two grams, a little over two grams underground. They're taken out at over 150 million recently by Yamana. The next one was QMX. They were taken out for 130 million. And you know what? They didn't even have a resource of any significance. So the majors are showing up. They're looking for companies. And the reality is we'd be very pleased, you know, once we develop this resource, and, you know, if we do hit our two and a half to three million before the program's finished, basically we're looking at ourselves as a takeout target. So, you know, uh, right now we have about 700,000 ounces, even 700,000 ounces. The other two companies were taken out at over $100 an ounce. So really we should have a 70 million market cap. We're trading at an 18 million market cap. 
So there's a lot of room for, for added value. So if I've got this right, some of the compelling reasons to be taking a look at Granada Gold is your consistent, your regular, your, we've been getting regular updates here from you with increasing your resource. Is that not correct? The drilling results yes. have been fantastic. Yes. We've had two rounds in the last month. Yes. Okay. In addition to that, you're talking about the competitive area that you're currently located in. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, it's all gold. Only gold. Only gold. All right. Well, Frank, as always, keep us updated. Let's do this regularly, and it's good to see you. Well, thanks a lot, Tracy, and have a wonderful day.